Hello guys, what's up? In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to access uh, the MySQL database when it is on the web server from your own Android phone. So let's have a look at. I have set up database like this and I'm going to show you let's get into our test get JSON activity and in this activity I've created um, I'm getting local IP address from a text box and then I'm passing this IP address and I'm also having a JSON, uh, as, uh, p sorry, PHP file that returns JSON in the form of users that are currently on in my XAMPP server MySQL database. So I'm getting it is uh, here in this file I've set it. doing background async method and I'm getting the connection then open it then I'm getting contents within the method in the form of username password and then I'm returning this into a static variable called JSON data then What it does is, let me show you how to run it. I'm running it in my Janimotion em emulator. So let's start it and wait for some time. What we actually are going, uh, my purpose is to show you how can we access the MySQL data from your actual Android phone the data is in your local host and we are getting it using our Wi-Fi so let me open my Wi-Fi I've turned it off um, I'm enabling it. It's connecting. And it is connected. So the next step is to find your own local IP address. For this, we have to do you have to go to command prompt and then type IP config. It will show you your local IP address. Let's choose um, here we go. This is IP uh, IPv4 address. That is this. This is my local IP address. And make sure you have the wireless LAN adapter Wi-Fi option there. So this is my local IP address, IPv4 address. Don't forget IPv4 address. So copy this. And what I've done is okay. Now I've started my generation emulator, and 
what I've done is I'm passing this IP address from uh, when when it's run it, it's running. I will pass the IP address from the and in edit text. So let me show you how it looks like. I'm gonna run joining motion selected. Wait for some time. So now that was my application. Let's then trying to get my JSON array items from the database in case of emulator. So in case of that was my own local address this IP address so click it well I have retrieved the IP address um, sorry the database items from my IP address the edit text address was that edit text that I'm showing you when the button is pressed it gets the IP address and gets user JSON dot PHP and set the text box as this data and we are getting JSON toss dot JSON data uh, that was the static variable in case of background async method now what if I want to retrieve this data from my own Android mobile, real Android mobile application? Now I now I want to show you where actually my data is located. So I'm gonna open my Zam server. It's already running. I'm gonna close it and I'm gonna show you where my data is actually located the data is actually located in my local host so I'm going to type local host local host and get users json.php so it is returning the students of um, json of array I'm getting it and what how can a JSON array can be written I'll be doing a tutorial on this later on but let's get into our then file that I put in here what I did I'm I want to show you what I did in I did I put the local host root Android uh, that was the Android database name, and I've selected static um, all the users from database. Then I'm going to connect it and returning the number of rows, and then creating an array. So at the end, I'm returning the JSON array. Now the purpose of showing this to you is that uh, my data that I have retrieved in the Jenny Motion emulator was from the my logos now, now if you want to retrieve this data in your real device then we have to check some do some extra task first is we have to get our we have to get our uh, 
IP address that I've shown you shown to, that I showed you now go to your network settings go to advanced options and you can also check your IPv4 address from here also now close it and we have to run this application install the APK into your Android phone then we have to go into control panel and in control panel we can go for the security tab and from there we have to check for windows firewall and we must disable the firewall and the one interesting thing we can get is we um, from this tutorial we can get our ZAMP server into our Android phone and we can change whatever we want from our Android phone also. So turn Windows Firewall on and on or off and I've turned these options off. You can do the same thing also now we have to get into advanced settings option click it and from there we have to add inbound rules and then now we have to add a new rule and Check on the part option, click next, and type ports here. Don't, uh, don't change anything here, but type 80 443. Press next, hello connections, and press also next, next, and type name. Zap here and click finish. Now I'm not going to press finish as I have already created new rules, so I'm going to cancel it. I've already created, but you can do the same thing. Here's my created rules, and I've enabled, I've done something like that. I'm a, I've enabled 40 and for three exactly what I should should you so close it and now from your own Android phone device I'm gonna sh show you something I'm gonna open my cane And I want to show you what I've done here. One thing I want to show you is how we can get the same server in our Android phone. Now let's look at my browser is open and I'm gonna type my local IP address here right here and that was 192.168.10. and that was 8 
you should do what I am exactly doing here. Now you can we can press go. Voila. We have the PHP my admin section here. We can go into PHP my admin. From here, you can do what you want. Let's have a look at here these options. I think everything will uh, is clear to you. Now we are gonna get in our actual data. That is on server. Let's click it and let's type something else without IP address that is not mine. 68.45.456. Sorry, if I'm F3 reopen it. And write something else. Have to write have to write this is a random IP address. So there was dot or dot. it has cached my data so I have to cut it and reopen it that is open it and I'm going to type in six one three five dot this is a random address I'm typing, but it's not retrieving any data. Now, I'm going to type in my actual IP address. That was 19 point. Sorry. 168.5. Now I'm going to press this. And I return six eight. We should wait for some time as my connection is getting very low. So it will retrieve my JSON data uh, in some time. So I have to. Mm, so that's enough for today. Stay tuned and don't forget to subscribe my channel.